Have you been shopping for spring fashions? Well, it's one thing to have some new spring things in your closet. It's another thing to put together great spring outfits. So today I'm sharing seven keys to help you put together really great spring outfits from the simple separates in your closet. Welcome to today's video. Are you getting ready for spring? I know I am. I've got a spring dress on today. I, I recently picked this dress up from Bowdoin. I'll give you all the details in the description box below along with all the other links to things I'm showing today. I love this Kelly green. Green is really trending this year. And I know you probably also are buying a few new things just to round out your wardrobe for spring 2022 as well as the summer. It's just a good time to buy a few things in the trending colors and the trending silhouettes. We're gonna talk more about that as we go today. But as we put those new pieces in our closet, we want to know how to use them in outfits. You know, that's where we get stumped, right? We buy the pretty clothes and then we stand in front of our closet and we think, oh my goodness, what do I do with this? <laughs> I know I've done that. So I've learned a few things though, and I wanna share these seven tips with you that will help you put together just some great spring outfits from even the simplest separates in your closet. My name is Kay and I blog at dressformyday.com and both here and there, I really just want to inspire and equip women 50 and above to get dressed for our day. I think we all have a reason to show up every day. I want us to show up big and bold and beautiful. And so we need to get dressed to do that. So let's get going on those seven keys that will help you put together great outfits this spring with those pretty pieces that you've been buying. My first tip is simply to make sure that you fill your wardrobe with the essentials. I don't know about you, but sometimes it's the pretty dazzling kind of glittery things, not like literally glittering, but just those things that maybe have that really appeal, like I see fluttery sleeves or I see pretty prints and those things draw my attention and that's perfectly fine. But I also need to make sure that my wardrobe has those essentials. So at my blog, I have recently posted the wardrobe essentials for spring. So I'll give you a link to that below. But also if you subscribe to my weekly or daily newsletter there, you can even get a printable wardrobe essentials list for every season and all sorts of other freebies that are I only reserve for subscribers too. But when you have those essentials in your closet, you can put together outfits like this one. In this first outfit, I'm wearing some black cropped pants that I recently picked up from Talbot's and just a black t-shirt with a modern ivory blazer over it and I have on some black sandals. So you can see that all of these are very simple pieces. There is nothing big going on here. All of these are actually what I would consider spring wardrobe essentials but I've chosen them in my particular neutrals that I'm wearing this season, which include black and gray and ivory and navy. Those are my neutrals for this season. And I've also, though, are filling out my wardrobe with some of my signature colors. But it's just really important that we have those essentials in our closet. And really that is the very first key that we've got to have if we want to put together some outfits with our simple separates. And that leads me to my second key, and that is to make sure that when you're choosing and you're loading up on those wardrobe essentials, that you do have some in your chosen neutrals. Those would be things like navy, black, gray, camel, brown, ivory, white. But you also do want some of those essentials to be in your signature colors. Your signature colors are simply those that you've chosen to fill your wardrobe with that are colors, not neutrals. My signature colors are green and red and pink and blue. 
and I love wearing those colors. So I do try to at least have a few of these wardrobe essentials in those colors. I could include things like even pants, like chinos or crop pants or shorts, but it especially could include things like your t-shirts, right? These are once again, are wardrobe essentials, but I've made sure that I have just a classic scoop neck tee in my closet that is a light blue tee. So bring those signature colors into your wardrobe essentials too. Now my third tip is to make sure that some of those wardrobe essentials, maybe my, most of your wardrobe essentials, have some interesting details about them. So everything doesn't have to be just plain. We don't have to have just plain t-shirts and plain you know blazers or plain jeans. They can have some interesting details or some modern silhouettes. So in this first outfit, I want to show you, I'm wearing those same demi boot black pants. They're a cropped length and they have just the slightest bit of a flare below the knee. So that's a really modern silhouette. So yes, they're just black pants, but they have a modern silhouette to them. And I've topped them with a black ribbed tee. Now this tee has a button up and it has that ribbing and it has a collar. So it's really more of a polo type shirt here. So it's a little different. It's once again, it's just a plain top. It reads like a t-shirt, but it has those interesting details about it. I'm wearing it with my Edison flats from Talbot. So they are in a black and a camel. So that's just a little bit more interesting than if I were wearing just nude shoes or black shoes. And then I've topped all of this with a camel blazer, very classic, nothing really necessarily interesting about that piece, but those other pieces have interesting details and modern silhouettes. So be sure to think about that as you're adding new things to your closet. It's not necessarily that every pair of black pants or white pants needs to have some kind of modern detail to it but you want to have at least enough modern details and interesting pieces in your closet so that you can build very simple outfits that look interesting and that look modern. The next key to creating great spring outfits from the separates in your closet is to make sure you have some great completer pieces. Now by completer pieces, I simply mean those third pieces, that, that jacket, maybe a denim jacket or a utility jacket or a blazer or a cardigan or a oversized button up shirt. Or if you live in a warmer climate and you feel like those things are too heavy, that I would load up my wardrobe with things like kimonos and ruanas, those very light pieces. Because these are the pieces that are really going to make those outfits interesting, especially with those simple separates. In this outfit, I'm wearing some of those modern white jeans. They have a little bit of that kick flare to them again, but really it's all very simple. I have on a striped t-shirt that I've recently picked up from Loft. It's just a v-neck t-shirt. It is striped, but I would still consider this one of my wardrobe essentials because it's so multifunctional. And I've topped this outfit with a simple baby blue cardigan. It's one of my signature colors. And so I really put together a really sweet outfit here. Just got some sandals going on here. So really the thing that pulls this just jeans and t-shirt outfit together is that baby blue cardigan. Now, if you're thinking a cardigan, that's too hot for spring or summer. I always look for 100% cotton cardigans or maybe at least mostly cotton with a little bit of acrylic in it. Um, sometimes to add a little stretch, but really I love a cotton cardigan, really stays pretty cool. But you could also, like I said, go for a kimono or a linen blazer or a lightweight jacket. I suggest you have at least three completer pieces that you can use in multifunctional ways in your spring wardrobe. So for instance, here I'm wearing those same white jeans, but this time I've got a tank top on. I think tanks are another really important wardrobe essential for spring and especially summer. But that tank works really easily under this chambray blue linen button up shirt that I'm showing you here. Both of those tops are from J. Jill. Uh, J. Jill does a great job with their tanks. In fact, this tank is reversible. It, you can turn it one way for a V-neck and the other way for a scoop neck. I love pieces like that that give me some versatility. And then this chambray top can be worn completely buttoned up and tucked in, or it can be worn over the tank like this. So very versatile, very basic, simple separates, but worn together so beautifully. 
The next key to building those great outfits is to make sure you have some interesting footwear in your wardrobe that is true to your style aesthetic and your lifestyle, but also accomplishes something. So there are several things that I think our footwear can accomplish. First of all, flesh-toned or nude footwear is a great choice, so I definitely suggest you have something in a nude tone, and that means your color of nude, okay? Whatever matches your skin tone. So whether it's flats or sandals or heels, those nude shoes are gonna create that long leg effect and just look really classy and paired back. Another way though that you can use your shoes is to bookend your outfit. So like here I'm wearing a black top, white jeans and black shoes. And so those black shoes and the black top just book in that outfit and make it look really sharp. So it's a good idea to have some shoes in the color that would work with the colors of tops or toppers or completer pieces that you have. So I've actually ordered a black and white gingham blazer that I'm planning to wear with this same outfit and see it'll look really great with those black shoes. Now another thing of course you could do with your footwear is still animal prints are still trending. I kind of think that like reptile prints are a little bit more trending right now than the leopard print, but leopard print will never go out of style completely. So you can certainly wear leopard print shoes or snake print shoes or zebra print shoes. Those just add some interest without really necessarily throwing in another color because they read like a neutral. But then the fourth thing that your shoes can do is they can add some color to your outfit and add some interest by wearing shoes that are a nice bright color. It's a good idea if you do that to make sure you have that color at least somewhere else in your outfit, even if it's just in your earrings, your necklace, you know, your handbag, something like that. My next tip is to add a belt. Now, I know that sounds kind of scary to some of you, but really I think every woman needs to give a belt another try. <laughs> Unless you have a protruding tummy, and I know sometimes that's the case and I get that, but if you just have a wide girth, like I really kind of do, <laughs> you can still wear a belt as especially at spring and in the fall because you're going to put that completer piece over it. So this is a great time to pull that belt out because it really does pull your outfit together. It just makes you look more polished, more put together, and it adds some interest to that just, you know, tee and pants or tee and jeans or whatever. When you wear that belt, it just really elevates your outfit. And so if you put on that belt, give yourself a gentle tuck around. You can even just do a front tuck if you want to. And then you add that completer piece and you're really gonna have a great outfit put together. And then the final key to creating great outfits this spring is to remember that your handbag is also an essential part of your outfit, especially if you're getting out and about. If you're going out to lunch, you're going out to brunch, you're going to a class, or you're going to a movie with your husband, or maybe you're going to work, that handbag can easily detract from your outfit or it can add something to it. So during the spring, I think it really is important to have a couple of different handbags, at least in your arsenal. And I suggest that you have a neutral colored handbag in a neutral that you think you'll be wearing a lot, whether that's black or maybe ivory, or you could go with cognac or camel. And I also think it's really important to have a color in your, in your handbag collection. So this is a great time to think about the colors that are trending, add that pop of color to your otherwise kind of toned back outfit with the handbag. So you could wear a yellow handbag. Yellow is really trending this year. Green is really trending. A bright pop of red or blue is always a good idea. So pick a color that you think you could easily kind of work into your outfit and get a handbag in that color. It's just a fun way to experiment with color and pull that outfit together. So I hope those seven keys helped you out a little bit. If it did, please give me a thumbs up down below and maybe, hey, send a link to this video out on Facebook or to a friend through an email. That's always a good idea too. Be sure to visit me at my blog and go ahead and sign up for my weekly or daily newsletter while you're there. And that way you get all those subscriber freebies, including my wardrobe essentials list. 
All the links to anything that's been available today that I've shown you are in the description box below. So just click on that little arrow down arrow, I think is usually what you'll see to open that description box and really see what all's down in there. I have lots of goodies for you down in there. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm looking forward to spring. I know you are too, and we are going to look great. I'll see you later, ladies.